Hi, I'm Jocelyn Todd. I'm the District Vet for the Grafton and Coffs Harbour region of the North Coast. Today I'll be discussing reproductive management focused on preparing your animals for joining. Nutritional management is the single most important factor in increasing calving rates across North Coast herds. Nutritional requirements of females are highest in the last trimester of pregnancy and the first few months after calving, which is also when they're being joined. It's important that cows are on a rising plane of nutrition to ensure that they're ovulating when the bull goes in. The bull has one job, getting cows in calf. Consider a bull breeding soundness evaluation or BBSE at least six weeks before joining. These can be conducted by most private vets and are cheap insurance, particularly in small herds that are only relying on one or two bulls or seed stock operations who are single sire mating. This includes a visual and physical assessment of your bull to ensure he's capable of moving around the paddock effectively, identifying on heat females and serving them. Depending on your vet, it will also include a crush side semen evaluation and a libido test. Performing these tests at least six weeks before joining allows plenty of time to replace the bull if he fails the BBSE. If you can't get a vet out for a BBSE, at least visually assess your bull. Feet and eyes need to be in excellent condition and he needs to be in fat score three before going out with the cows. Pre-joining is a good time to perform worm control in your bull and to make sure that he's up to date with his vaccinations. Heifers can be joined as young as 15 months old in order to carve as two year olds, increasing lifetime productivity. In order to do this, they need to be at least 65% of their adult body weight at joining, which in most North Coast herds is 300 to 350 kilos live weight. This weight range is a minimum for any heifers to be joined, not an average across the mob. It's also important to manage joiner heifers nutrition ongoing so that they're calving at 85% of their adult body weight. Joining first calf heifers six to eight weeks before the main cow mob allows for the typically longer period that they take to come on heat again after their first calf. This also makes them more likely to be back in line with the main cow mob for calving ongoing. Ensure adequate body condition at joining. Aim for cows to be in forward condition, fat score three. If they're below this, consider supplementary feeding so they're at least on a rising plane of nutrition, increasing ovulation rates. If cows are in fat score one or below, early weaning of calves can increase the chance of getting cows back in calf. Ensure heifers, cows and bulls are up to date with relevant vaccinations prior to joining. There are highly effective vaccines available for clostridial diseases and leptospirosis, vibriosis, pestivirus and three day sickness, as well as others. Early pregnancy testing two to three months after the bull is taken out is ideal for identifying cows who have failed to get in calf. This saves carrying empty cows for the six months until calving and wasting quality feed on empty animals. It's also the time when you can identify any pregnancy loss issues and manage as appropriate. An in-calf rate of 90 to 95% is achievable in most operations in this region. It is important to differentiate between a pregnancy loss issue as opposed to failure to conceive. If you suspect a pregnancy loss issue in your herd, you can contact your private vet or your local land services district veterinarian to investigate this issue. This video is based on a more detailed written article which is available for email distribution. Please contact your local land services office to get a copy of this article.